connected. Mobile phone pairing. To execute phone pairing, hold down the phone button for five seconds until you see the red and blue flashing lights and hear phone pairing. Your device is now discoverable. With your mobile phone in Bluetooth pairing mode, select the headset in the list of devices detected. If your mobile phone asks for a PIN, use 0000 as the PIN number. Now that your phone is connected, to answer a call, tap the phone button or the jog dial. To end a call, tap the phone button or hold the jog dial for two seconds. To reject a call, hold the jog dial for two seconds. To make a call with a voice dialer, tap the phone button. If you have a GPS connected during the phone, the phone will take the highest priority and you will not hear any of your navigations during the phone call. Speed dial presets can be assigned through the Senna Device Manager or smartphone app. Tap the phone button twice to enter into speed dial menu. You will hear the voice prompt, speed dial. Rotate the jog dial clockwise or counterclockwise to navigate through your presets. Tap the phone button when you hear the prompt speed dial and whatever number you've selected. To redial the last number called, tap the phone button when you hear last number redial. Vox phone comes enabled by default. With Vox phone enabled, to answer a call, you can say any word or make a noise. Your microphone will pick up on it and immediately answer the call. This only works for answering, something to be mindful of. If your microphone is placed in a bad area where it's picking up excess noise and Vox phone is enabled, you may be answering even calls that you did not wish for. If you do disable Vox phone, you'll have to tap the jog dial or the phone button to answer an incoming call. Essentially, with Vox phone enabled, your Senna will listen and answer every phone call with a simple hello or any noise or word that you say to it.